What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, a big box good. This pair of men's running course New Balance shoe, I picked them up at Marshalls. They cost $45. Marshalls is like an outlet store. They sell a variety of brands at discounted prices. So instead of paying full price for something like a New Balance running shoe, let's find out if this discounted pair is any good. Let's take a look at the quality, the fit and finish. We'll try them on and get into the closer details to find out if Marshalls is a good option to buy running shoes. So like I said, in this video, let's justify how a brand as high as New Balance is able to sell a shoe as good of quality as this because it does look like it's a extremely good quality. Let's examine how New Balance, like I said, is able to sell a shoe at this price point of $45. So first and foremost, compared to other shoes we've reviewed on this channel and compared to shoes that you might find at Dick's Sporting Goods, for example, or a finish line at the mall, for example, is the color schematic. So when you're running, typically it's done on the side of the road, right down a road, down a sidewalk, maybe in a city, in your neighborhood. Having a pair of running shoes that are visible, maybe a neon green or a neon blue or a neon red is advantageous to have. And that's why you find those most or more sought after or popular color options on the more expensive shoe. And this shoe at $45, even though it's built extremely well, it's lightweight, it's an aramid design. As you'll see here, it's a little bit dull, it's a little bit boring, black, white, and gray. So not only is it dull, but you might also be giving up an element of safety due to the fact it's a little bit more conservative, not as bright or visible as something maybe neon green or blue or red. And also what's important to note is at Marshalls, one color option only, this color option, black, white, and gray. So like I said, what makes this shoe as inexpensive as it is, is the fact it has a conservative color schematic, black, white, and gray. Otherwise, it's a pretty modern and capable or formidable running shoe, I think. And that is in large part due to the lightweight Aramid design, but also the rigidity here of the shoe itself. As you can see, not a whole lot of flex. So upon first impressions, upon first glance, what this shoe reminds me of is actually the Skechers Shape Up, which as you'll see on Skechers website here for $100, it's an expensive shoe, it's a premium shoe, has similar style points to that of our New Balance running shoe. First and foremost, it has a thick sole. It's also a similar color scheme, but most importantly, it's got the thick rounded sole. So this shoe also has a rounded sole, but let's talk about what makes this shoe different. First and foremost, it's got the mesh upper, which the Skecher Shape Up does not have, which you can see is closed off. This is more for work, the Skecher Shape Up. And most importantly, the bottom of the Skecher Shape Up is different as well. It's got a non-slip surface, which this shoe does not have. So similar in look, but not similar in functionality. The Skechers Shape Up is probably heavier. This shoe is extremely light. You can see it's got a thin mesh upper. A couple of differentiating factors, the mesh upper and the sole of the shoe. So even though this shoe is as inexpensive as it is, what's good to see is New Balance retains its focus on the runner. At this price point, you get premium features like the mesh upper. It's got a thick, supportive, springy type sole, but most importantly, it has a removable foot orthotic, which as you can see, doesn't look like anything special other than the fact it's thin and lightweight, which keeps the shoe thin and lightweight. That being said, the fact that it's removable is good to see because if you need something more supportive, if you need something more custom, if you have a desired feel, or maybe if you have some kind of medical issue where you need a more supportive foot orthotic, but like this shoe for the way it fits 
or just like the price point of it, you can change the foot orthotic simply by taking this one out or maybe just cleaning the shoe, airing it out, keeping it dry and odor free makes maintaining it better all thanks to its removable foot orthotic. So even though at this price point only one color option, that's the only issue with this shoe is the fact that it comes in only one color option. Otherwise you get features that you would find on more expensive running shoes. You get the foam sole which keeps it lightweight. You get the mesh upper which keeps it breathable and last but most importantly not least a removable foot orthotic which allows you to add customization to it maybe if you need more support or maybe if your foot needs more room either way at this price point no quality control issues the only downside is of course the fact it comes in one color option the least color option or the least popular color option probably being that it is white black and gray so at this price point, no issues to be found. Let's go ahead and try it on, see how well it fits. First thing is first, it runs true to size. Typically, I wear a size 11, even though this is an 11 and a half, I know it fits true to size because there is room at the front of the foot. Now, buying a running shoe, you should probably buy the size of shoe that fits the foot closest. So for me, that would be a size 11. But even though this is a size 11 and a half, I can tell you it fits true to size because like I said, I have room at the front of the foot. Now, the good news here is because it's a mesh upper, you can see my toe sticking out. If you or someone you know has problems with rubbing and need a thicker sock, this shoe should accommodate that. It's got a lot of flexibility at the top of the shoe to accommodate a variety of different socks and actually, this shoe, I would say, is comfortable enough to be worn without a sock. So, after having done some walking around in it, what I really appreciate the most is, even at this price point, it doesn't have quite the same features that a more expensive, more advanced running shoe would have, but it makes up for it because it's got this sort of rounded off sole. It actually adds spring to your step without there needing to be special grooves or features at the bottom of the sneaker. So at this price point, even though it looks on the outside to not have the advanced features that a more expensive running shoe would have, it makes up for it. Anyways guys, that has been a first impressions, a try on, a quick look, an overview. This is the men's running course running shoe by New Balance. I picked this up at Marshalls, it was $45. Had you bought something like this at New Balance, it probably would have cost more but what was good to see here is even though it was marked down to as little as $45, there are absolutely zero quality control issues. The only take back with this shoe being the fact it comes in only one color option. Otherwise, if you're looking for an inexpensive running shoe, this one has all the features at such a low price point that you would find on other more expensive running shoes. You get the removable foot orthotic for added customizability. It's got the upper mesh, so it's airy, it's breathable, it keeps your foot cool while running, and it's got a supportive sole which adds spring to your step. But most importantly though, what you normally might expect to find on an inexpensive pair of name brand shoes at Marshalls, no quality control issues such as defects or stains or scuffs or pulls or tears in the lining. None of that here is visible. If I can't see it, it probably isn't there because um, looking at the shoe, it's extremely well finished. My name is John. I really hope you enjoyed that first impressions try on. The shoe fits true to size. At Marshalls, it was $45. The only downside, of course, is finding shoes like this on Marshalls website can be difficult from time to time. But hey, just as an example of what you can find at Marshalls, this shoe, I think, is a perfect example of that. At $45, it's a good option. Not the most stylish option. It only comes in one colorway, like I said. But again, you get all the bonuses of what you might find on a more expensive running shoe here. So my name is John. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the bell icon to get notified when I post YouTube. Comment down below to share your experience with with shoes like this or shopping at Marshalls for shoes like this. My name is John. Thanks again so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next video.